Hi, I'm Yaakov Horowitz, and um, I wanted to have an important and even if it's a little uncomfortable conversation um, with parents who might be especially now um, during this coronavirus time uh, at risk of, uh, God forbid, lashing out uh, emotionally or physically at your children or spouses. Um, <clears throat> we're living through very challenging times now, obviously. Um, and it's perfectly normal to feel stressed. We all feel stressed. If you don't feel stressed, you're superhuman. Um, but these feelings tend to intensify, um, especially if you have small children uh, at home or lots of kids at home. Um, you know, my wife and I are empty nesting now, but we remember, you know, having kids at home is, is stressful, but we never, we, we never went through a period like this where you couldn't get childcare, where the children didn't have school, you weren't able to leave home. Um, you know, where, where you couldn't go to, to even to relatives or anyone else. I'm going to give you a list of resources later, but I, I just want to talk first. Um, so, first of all, you know, ironically, it might even be a good time or a better time to reach out for support if this is something that's been a pattern with you or it's something that you're struggling with that you find yourself saying things to your to your to your children uh, saying things to your spouse uh, god forbid even worse you know hurt harming them hitting, hitting them or 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 being abusive in some way um and you 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 know a half hour later or the next day you say what in the world did i just do it might really be a good time to reach out because honestly nobody's going to be judgmental at this time if you call anyone a, a, a rabbi, a therapist, a friend, and you know, you say that you're having a hard time and you find yourself lashing out, there's nobody that's going to be judgmental. Um, so just a few points. Try to be self-aware, obviously, you know, try to, to, to be in touch with this. Um, do what you can to, to nourish your own soul, um, to exercise, to find time for hobbies, if at all possible. And, and when I say, say self-aware, that means to, to realize when you feel that stress level rising. And, and it's okay to be honest with your family and say, you know, I, I, I feel myself getting stressed. I'm going to step out for a moment. And, and with a good therapist, you can learn some techniques that will help uh, uh, dial it down and, and hopefully um, eliminate it altogether if possible. Um, but I, I just, I beg you, I beg you, I plead with you to reach out for help. Um, I'll offer you my email. I'm not a therapist, but I can listen or communicate and refer you. Uh, my email address is ryh at thebrightbeginnings.com. T-H-E-B-R-I-G-H-T-V-E-G-I-N-N-I-N-G-S dot org. Uh, dot, uh, dot com, excuse me, ryh at thebrightbeginnings.com. Um, it's in complete confidence. I'm the only one who, who sees those, those, those emails. Um, so like I said, I'll be glad that I'm going to give you some uh, general referrals later. Um, a lot of therapists do video conferencing now. Most of them do, <laughs> probably all of them do. And, you know, it might even be a good time if you're, if you're off from work right now and, and you know, you're, it really might be a good time to, to work on your parenting skills, to try to, to develop strategies, uh, preferably together with your spouse or alone about what happens, what are the trigger points, how to step down from them. Um, and it's a, honestly, it's a perfect time to apologize if, if you find yourself doing these things. You know, um, very often you don't see the harm that it causes, especially if it's verbal abuse. Um, you know that sometimes the children are quiet, sometimes they lash out, but very often they just absorb it and it just sits there and festers. And so many of the kids never carry these scars for life. You know, one of the reasons that prompted me to do this now, um, in the middle of Yantif and before the second days, was that uh, because of what's going on with coronavirus and, and because of the stress that people are under, especially people. Um, who are find themselves alone and suffer from anxiety or other mental wellness issues. I, I made my number available and made myself available over Yantif for people to call in if they, chas v'sholem, God forbid, were in a dark space and were f worried about harming themselves. A very large, I'm sorry to say it, I don't mean to f make you feel guilty if you are in this pattern, but 
a very large percentage of the people who reached out were, were carrying signs of anxiety and trauma uh, from stuff that they underwent at home, uh, uh, from their parents who certainly uh, loved them and brought them, when they brought them home from the hospital and loved them, you know, but it, 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 it it's, it's a big deal, guys, ladies, gentlemen, it's a big deal. Um, you know, there's a, there's a concept called dog years. Dogs typically, you know, have far less lifespans than humans. So, you know, there's a formula. The first 15 years of human life is corresponds to one dog year. I believe the second one is nine, and after that it's five each. You know, it's a, it's a different... You know, I'm 60 years old, but in Saurus years, in listening to problems and listening to people's challenges and, and pain that people go through. Um, I, I'm, if it's 60 human years, you know, I'm a few hundred years old or a few thousand. And, and sometimes you can avoid this by going for help. You know, this is so, I, I beg you, I plead with you. I wish I could get you in touch with some of the people who are my age and still suffering from, from trauma that they went through as children. Um, your kids are going to remember this time for, for the rest of their lives, for sure. Uh, try to work on whatever you can do to make your home um, a happy place, a place with his music, a place with his laughter, a place with his silliness. Um, and, and, you know, leave the rules that you normally have. If you like your table to run a certain way, your yanta for Shabbos table, or you like a certain sense of discipline or order or neatness or whatever it is, um, just roll with it and, and do what you can to make your home a happy place. Um, I'm going to list you some resources. Um, Amudim uh, um, has a general number of 646-517-0222. You can look them up at amudim.org. They have a wide range of services and uh, clinicians who will, who will talk to you and help you. They have a sliding scale for, for therapy. They have a special hotline for Yantif now, which is 888-726-8346. Uh, um, it, it's actually a hotline not only for Yantif, but for this whole corona uh, uh, situation that may, that where people find such stress, or support at amudim.org, A-M-U-D-I-M.org. That's support at amudim.org. There's relief resources, uh, does referrals for mental health professionals at 718-431-9501. So um, before I wish you good Yantif, I just want to sum up. If you're, if you're finding yourself stressed out, if you find yourself, God forbid, in challenge of lashing out, please go for help. It's very normal to feel stressed like this. And, and you know, if normally you find yourself under stress, this is certainly going to intensify. So please reach out for help. Um, and I, I really wish you, if, if you are in such a situation and you do reach out for help, I would stand up and applaud you because it's such an important thing to do. It's the most, most wonderful investment you can do uh, and have in the lives of the children you love. So best wishes for a wonderful Yantif. Feel free to email me at ryh at thebrightbeginnings.com confidentially. Hopefully I can, I can help you, direct you to some resources and the best wishes of Mazel and Bracha uh, with your children and with your spouse. You should have beautiful, long, healthy lives. Good Yantif, everyone.